Wolf, President Bush apparently in no hurry now to come up with a change of strategy in Iraq. I mean, hey, what's the rush? Things are going so well over there, right? Last week, he got the Iraq Study Group report amid expectations that he might announce a change in strategy sooner rather than later. Now it looks like it's going to be later. Instead of a Christmas present to the nation and the people of Iraq in the form of a way to stop the insanity, the decider has decided not to decide until January. In the meantime, American troops get butchered every day. The American death toll approaching 3,000 now, as December looks to be a very bloody month. Forty-seven soldiers and Marines have been killed in Iraq since December the 1st. And since the start of the war now, 2,937 U.S. troops have been killed. And for innocent Iraqi civilians, it is much, much worse on a daily basis. Today, 71 Iraqis looking for a job, hoping to find a day's work so they could feed their families, were slaughtered by a suicide truck bomber in Baghdad, and 220 additional Iraqi civilians were injured. And yet President Bush told Brit Hume over at the F-Word Network in an interview the other day that the load of the war in Iraq is, quote, not heavy, unquote. He called it a joyful, not a painful experience because millions of Americans are praying for him. So as our soldiers get ready to spend their fourth Christmas in this hell hole, here's the question. How long should it take President Bush to figure out what to do in Iraq? Email your thoughts to CafferdyFile at CNN.com or go to CNN.com slash CafferdyFile. Wolf. Jack.